On April 8th, 2024, a celestial event of epic proportions will grace the skies, the second total solar eclipse of the year. As the moon gracefully dances in front of the sun, casting its shadow across North America, get ready to witness a breathtaking spectacle. Imagine this, the path of totality, where the moon completely blocks out the sun, will stretch from Mexico to Canada, spanning 15 American states along the way. And get this, the total eclipse will last a jaw-dropping 4 minutes and 28 seconds, doubling the magic of the 2017 Great American Eclipse. But hold on to your seats, because there's more cosmic excitement in store. During the total eclipse, keep your eyes peeled for a special guest, the legendary Comet 12P slash Pons Brooks, also known as the Devil Comet. After a 71-year hiatus, this celestial wanderer will return, offering a once-in-a-lifetime chance to witness a comet in the daytime sky. And if that's not enough, you'll also have the opportunity to spot the brightest planets adding their sparkle to the cosmic panorama. So mark your calendars and prepare to be enchanted by the cosmic wonders unfolding before your eyes. Don't miss out on this extraordinary event. Show some love by liking this video and dropping a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this celestial extravaganza. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Get ready for April 8th when everyone's gazing up at the sky, experiencing the celestial show. But don't miss out on the unforgettable moments surrounding you during a total solar eclipse. Stick around till the end of the video to discover more. A total solar eclipse has several main stages. First contact, second contact, totality, third contact, and fourth contact. First contact kicks off the partial phase of the eclipse. It's when the moon first starts creeping over the sun's disk, visible from an observer's standpoint. Although the eclipse officially starts here, the sun's only slightly covered, so you might miss it without proper gear. Remember to wear eclipse glasses or use solar filters for a safe partial eclipse view. The solar eclipse begins at 11.43 EDT or 15.43 GMT as the moon gradually covers the sun's disk. Even in all 48 contiguous US states, you can catch a glimpse of the partial eclipse. Use the Solar Eclipse Timer app to track the exact timings for your location. Between first contact and totality, you're in for some fascinating changes in the environment and the sky's appearance. As the moon keeps covering the sun after first contact, daylight starts dimming noticeably. Initially subtle, this darkening becomes more apparent as totality nears. The light quality sharpens, enhancing contrasts and creating an eerie ambience. Shadows grow sharper, and the sky's color shifts gradually, darkening from deep blue long before totality arrives. An intriguing shadow phenomenon occurs during the partial eclipse phase. Objects like tree leaves or calanders used to view the eclipse cast crescent-shaped shadows on the ground. This happens because the gaps between leaves or holes in the calander act like pinhole cameras, projecting an image of the partially obscured sun. Approximately 10 minutes before totality, the sun will appear as a thin crescent. This crescent becomes thinner and sharper as totality nears, providing a visual countdown to the moment of complete coverage. Minutes before totality, you should notice two mind-blowing things around you. The first is the temperature drop. A dip in temperature during a solar eclipse is one of its most palpable effects felt physically by observers in the path of totality. As the moon covers more and more of the sun, the amount of solar energy reaching the Earth decreases, leading to a noticeable decrease in temperature. This drop can vary depending on geographic location, time of year, and local weather conditions, but reductions of 5 to 10 degree F are common. Another fascinating aspect is animal behavior. Solar eclipses also affect wildlife, with many animals behaving as if it's dusk or nightfall. As the environment darkens and cools, animals may get confused, thinking twilight has arrived. 
birds may quiet down and some may head back to their nests. Nocturnal insects like crickets and mosquitoes may become more active, mistaking the eclipse for nighttime. But keep those eclipse glasses on. In the final moments before totality, get ready for some truly amazing sights. Observers witness two breathtaking phenomena. First up, we have Bailey's beads, named after Francis Bailey, who first described them in 1836. These beads appear just before and after totality as the moon moves to completely cover the sun. Irregularities on the moon's edge, like mountains and valleys, allow sunlight to peek through in some spots, but not others, creating a string of bright spots around the lunar profile. This gives the sky a beaded effect against the darkening backdrop. These beads are brief. They fade quickly as the moon moves across the sun. Then we have the diamond ring effect, which occurs right after Bailey's beads vanish, marking the last few seconds before totality. Here, only one bright bead of sunlight remains against the moon's silhouette. The contrast between this bright bead and the ring of the sun's corona around the moon creates a striking diamond ring appearance. The diamond sparkles brilliantly, while the ring represents the glow of the corona, now becoming visible. This marks the arrival of the most awe-inspiring phase of the eclipse, totality. During totality, the moon completely hides the sun, leaving only a thin ring of light around the edges. This brief moment transforms day into an eerie twilight, revealing solar details normally hidden. It's the one time you can look without protective eyewear as the moon blocks the bright sun completely. But stay prepared with your Eclipse Timer app so you're ready to put your glasses back on when Bailey's beads reappear. The highlight of totality is the sun's corona, its outer atmosphere. It forms a glowing crown with radiant streamers extending outward. The corona is incredibly hot, millions of degrees hotter than the sun's surface. Only during totality can you see it without special glasses, so be sure to wear them during the rest of the eclipse. Watch for reddish and pink loops extending from the sun's surface during totality. These are prominences made of cooler, denser plasma. Each prominence you see will be unique to that moment, since they typically last only a day or two. Starting from Texas, this celestial phenomenon will grace cities like San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, and Fort Worth. And let me tell you, Texas is the place to be for eclipse chasers. So, grab your eclipse glasses, pack your bags, and get ready to witness nature's greatest show from the heart of Texas. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.